don't see me out here making waves, I got it. So here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as a strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better. And recently, he has been back on the upswing in his career. Alistair Overy. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight that UFC championship belt. All right, so with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps to the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has graced the octagon yet again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alistair Overeem Overeem! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so the decorated combat sports career of the Ream. Alistair Overeem continues here tonight against John Jones. And I'm not sure if this crowd reaction is a great indicator, but this is a matchup that fight fans have been jonesing for for a long time, and they get it here. That, that, I mean, that was I saw, no, no, no. I, <laughs> I see what you did there, John. I see what you did there. Fans have been jonesing for John Jones versus Alistair Overeem. Boy, you, you might as well be a rapper, John. Find you on the corner in Brooklyn rapping somewhere. But this is a great matchup between two absolute savage strikers. Overeem would seem to have the ability to stand and trade with Jones at heavyweight. But let's see how Jones uses his wrestling to try and control this matchup. I love that. You thought that was there? I love that. I, just, I was just trying to see how to play off that Jones for John Jones. Big shot to the head. Oh, nice 
double leg, yes. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. He's having his way with him here. And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Oh, beautiful job there by the ream on the feet as he gets that kick to the desired target. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Looking for the counter right now, no good. Touched him with the strike there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Jones. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Pat did knee there from over him. Nice jab by the ring. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Big straight left. Well, he blocked that one. Ooh, big shot lands. Under a minute to go. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Great commitment to the kicking game. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? shot just before the end of the round so now he goes back to the stool wobbly a little bit we'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight all right so let us now check out some of the action in that round dc there was a whole lot of it including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show it was a lot of action it was back and forth action but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode luckily he made it to the end of that round. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones versus Alistair Over. Oh, nice. Good jab there by the Oh, oh, he might get finished here. Nice leg kick. Ooh, big knee. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. Big left hand there inside. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Uppercut lands. Nice job blocking that punch. Circling to his right. Leg kick. All right, so that calf is starting to bruise up. We'll keep an eye on it. He's got to check now, because if he doesn't, his leg is going to be so... He's not going to be able to move. He's going to be in real trouble. Back and forth we go. Ain't much. Beautiful land there by Alistair Overeem. Continues to cross train at different places. Finished up this training camp at Team Elevation there under Elliott Marshall in Colorado. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Signs of bruising now on that left side. Hook in the clinch by over Yes. And he comes through with a big knee. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch lane. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. 
zig and kick. Overeem's got a pretty deep bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Jones going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. That's a beautiful body kick. He landed this perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh. Ten oh. minutes in the can. So the horn sounds after that round. Big knockdown in that frame. Great round from Overeem. All right, so you're fine right now. You got clipped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try to change something. Huge knee land. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving into his opponent. Oh, 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 and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, a big left hand. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Jones is really having a hard time putting weight on that leg now. You can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. Nice jab. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Good work from the top here by Jones. Making all these shots count. Overeem's back in full guard. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, oh, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. 
All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now, but in a couple days, it'll be much worse yeah. because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose in terms of his breathing pattern is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on him. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Jones's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. Oh, that's a punch to the head out of the clinch position. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Back in the clinch. Look from the hang of his opponent's head. They try to wear at his casting. Lands a jab. He gets to the single collar ties. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Leg kick is true. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. He's going guillotine. That guillotine choke is getting tight, but you can't just squeeze. You got to get your hips into your opponent if you want him to tap. Okay, he's got it. That's it. a much worse position over giving up that submission. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Under a minute to go in round four. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice grounded pound by Johnny Bone. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's going to have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is going to piece up. Oh. 20 Stop. minutes down, five to go. You're mixing it up perfectly. I love what you're doing with your kicks. Keep those going. He's slowing down. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown to the body. These guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Johnny Bone. Oh, that Vaughn flu choke is tight. 
getting very close to finishing this Von flu. He did a great job of beating the goal. There's the time! result here tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground dc talk us through the highlight he's such a phenomenal grappler i don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you he is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 29 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John! All right, so John Jones, your winner tonight by submission. And this sort of dovetails with a lot of what you were saying this week. You felt like the grappling advantage was such that a submission could materialize, and Johnny Bones closes the show. But Jones is a good wrestler, so he uses that wrestling to put himself in position to chase a submission victory. We have seen this before in big moments, and tonight he does it again and gets another sub.